I come here every day. Every day, seven days a week. Regular recreators. I'm here every day. I live one block over. Call the North Natomas Regional Park part of their daily routine. Every single day when, when the weather's very nice like this, my wife and I, we take our half an hour break. George Beasley, who's lived in the neighborhood for almost 20 years, loves the area's familiarity. The so wildlife plays a major, major role because we see the different seasons. We see the different ducks that come in and the geese and the little birds. Something he's not used to seeing or sniffing seasonally. You can definitely smell the dead fish. I knew something was dead, but I didn't quite know there was fish. Lots and lots of fish. Never seen it before, no. We first heard about this last night when someone posted about it on Reddit. So my photographer and I drove out here, pulled out our phones. Here's what we saw. Lifeless creatures crowding the shores. The city of Sacramento's Department of Utilities tells KCRA 3 about 300 fish, mostly carp, died here. Today, crews are on cleanup duty, using trucks, tools, and boats to get them all out. Officials say the park's water serves as a stormwater retention basin. For now, they've isolated the water here, stopping it from heading to other waterways until they figure out what's wrong. So what happens next? The city sent samples of the water to be tested for harmful algae blooms. They expect to get those results on Friday. In the meantime, they know there are really low levels of oxygen in the water right now. In Natomas, Brittany Hope, KCRA 3 News. The city expects to get their test results back by Friday. If you see any dead fish or animals at a park or pond or body of water near you or notice issues with water quality, you're asked to call 311.